Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been using the default mail application that comes with Mac OS X ever since, I think it was Leopard is when I began. Well, it may have even been Tiger using IMAP. I connect to an exchange server, and for the most part, the mail app works well enough. Still a few bugs that they've yet to address. Uh, every so often I have to quit and rebuild the inbox in order for things to sync up right, and it doesn't always pull down new messages from the exchange server. There's... Still a disconnect that they need to improve, but at least they've made some visual improvements inside of the mail client in Mac OS 10, 10.7 Lion. I've turned most, if not all of them off. In fact, the only thing I can't figure out how to toggle inside the mail client in Mac OS 10, 10.7 Lion is the animations, which are just so incredibly silly. It's, it's really not funny. It's, they're silly, and I can't turn them off. Either way, I'm going to show you how to toggle the default view or the new default view inside the mail client in Mac OS 10, 10.7 Lion. It's like, how about I just say Lion from this point forward? Lion's mail client. We'll just stick with that. Uh, you've got the messages off to the side that you can scroll up and down and then, of course, view the message here in the rightmost pane. And it gives you more viewing area. There's actually a plugin that was developed for the earlier mail clients you know, Leopard, Snow Leopard. Uh, you don't need to use that anymore. Now you have this interface right out of the box. But if you want to go back to the classic layout, you can do that with a great degree of ease. Just go ahead, Command, Comma, that'll open up your mail preferences. Flip over to the Viewing tab, and right there at the top, toggle the Use Classic Layout. Now you see I toggled that, and look what happened. You see it went back to the classic view, but you're thinking, wait a minute, where's that sidebar with all my folders? Calm down. It's right here. Just go over to the favorites bar. That's what they call it. The favorites bar inside the mail client in Lion and press show. And then it'll show up. And if you want to hide it, you just press, oh, look, it doesn't say show anymore. It says hide. You say hide. Okay. So I can also show it, but not use the classic layout. And then uh, go through and toggle this here show to and CC label in the message list or show contact photos in the message list. I can all go through, or also go through and choose how many lines are in the preview here. Uh, I, I can of course adjust the, uh, uh, by you know, dragging that uh, uh, horizontal rule to the right or left, I can adjust the size of the message preview pane. Uh, list preview, let's see here, I can toggle even now if I'm viewing a message, and I don't know if I, I know anybody here inside my inbox that I feel good showing everybody in this video. Uh, I could also toggle the header detail so I can see none default or all. You could do that before, but it was a, it was a, a bit of a, a workaround. Uh, they've made it, I think, a, a little more easy for you to toggle uh, by default now. Uh, probably not something you're gonna wanna toggle. One of the things I've noticed though was showing your contact photos in the message list. All these messages here were sent to me, so it's showing my contact uh, photo. That really doesn't do me a lot of good. In fact, I only have one message here that was not sent to me. I was CC'd, and that was a message to Jake. So I see Jake's avatar right there, but really doesn't doesn't do me any good. Either way, uh, I'm going to go back to the classic layout because I don't like the new layout. And look at that. It looks exactly the way I want it to look, just like it looked before. And I can even go through and up in the view menu, if I can find my... Here's a little trick. When I can't find my mouse, what I do is I right-click the desktop and it pulls up as long as you've toggled that feature. I don't know if you knew that, but you could right click, right click on the Mac. Uh, and then wherever the menu pulls up, that's where I know the, the mouse is. A little, little short, short, short little tip to throw in there. Uh, go up to the view menu inside of mail and toggle uh, hide favorites bar, and that's it. You could also go full screen if you want, and you knew that. I mean, you can do full screen on just about any particular application inside of Lion by uh, clicking the little arrows up to the side. Oh, did you also know that you can now do this inside of Lion? You could also uh, grab one of the corners and resize the window. It's it's no longer just grabbing the uh, the lower uh, right-hand corner. You could also grab the lower left-hand corner or upper left-hand corner as well. Kind of nice they've given you that option. should make things less confusing for some people who've never used it before. Either way, there you go. Uh, some mail options for you if you happen to use mail. And if you know how to turn off animations, let me know. Let me show you why I want to turn off animations. I'm going to go ahead and send a message to myself. Chris at lockernome.com or actually Chris at perillo.com. That's my email address. Uh, blah.
Now watch what happens when I command shift D. That's how I send, that's the shortcut that I use to send all the messages. Watch what happens. For every single email I send, it goes I I want to turn that off so badly. I, I don't like these superfluous animations that Apple's now given us in line. I want to turn them off. Turn them off. If you know of a way to toggle that, let me know. You have my email address, chris at perillo.com. Please drop me a line if you have any other Mac tips, lion tips, whatever. I'm all ears. I'm also all screen. What were they thinking? Why, and why up? Why not like to the right or to the left or down or diagonal or out or in? I mean, my Twitter is uh, at Chris Perillo. I'm on Google Plus. You can find me there, Chris Perillo, or Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. Chris.perillo.com is the blog, lockernome.com and lockernome.net for as much tech content as we could possibly provide you in a day. And we also have a chat room. It's part of a live video feed. We're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you're more than welcome to join us at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.